Hello guys, welcome to Ginger by Mbox. Today we are going to see what is run set, how to create and configure the run set. So let's get started. So we have opened our application Ginger by Mbox in which we have opened already a solution called Udo. Here we can see we have business flow, run set, configuration, resources. In the business flow, we can see we have two business flow already created. One is login Google and the second one is YouTube sign in. So basically, this business flow is meant to create a sign in on the YouTube page for the Google authentication. Now let's come up to our the topic run sets. So what are run sets? So run set can be understood as a feature of the ginger by which we can execute different business flow at a single time. That means we can see here we have two business flow. Similarly, we can have many different flows 10, 12, 20. So by 20, many different flows, we can execute all the business flow at a single time by using the run set. So let's see how we can configure a run set. So when you click on this run set button, we can see a default run set open up. And here we can see the runner one. If you see this folder icon, by clicking this, it is showing us the folders of run sets, demo and default run set. Similarly, by doing a right click on the run set, you can create one more run set folder. So let us name this a demo two. Okay, now select. So this demo two. And you can see a default runner one is already created. Here, under this runner tab, you can see a right click, a plus icon, and a delete icon. This plus icon helps us to create multiple runners. So, what are runners? Under the run set of demo tool, we have the runners. Runners are basically a block in which we will add our business flows and activity for the execution of the test cases and business flows. So right now you can see this is runner 1, this is runner 2 and likewise we can create various runners. And I have clicked many times so you can see runner 4, runner 5, runner 6, runner 7, runner 3. So we can delete one by one by doing this delete icon. And uh, here you can see operations, details, execution history. So let us discuss about the operation. In operation, we have different functionalities such as a HTML report of the test execution, sending report through email, sending the JSON data to an external resource, add produce test in the summary report. So today we will discuss about the HTML report and sending that HTML report via email. The next step is details tab which gives a brief detail about this run set. So the name of the run set is demo2, description, run description and the categories. Now as I come above, by clicking on this plus icon, you can again create a run set. So apart from this folder, this plus icon also be used for creating another run set. Now if I come to this, this icon is used for undo any changes in the run set and this is our run set report and this is to find any particular runner and this is to create auto run configuration and this we have analyzer run set, export execution result to ALM reload run set. Now if I come back to my runner as I have told we can create many runners as many as we can want. Now if I come to runner 1 and here under the business flow I have shown you in all this solution YouTube we have two business flow. So if I click on this plus icon you can see it is asking us for the business flow to be selected. So I can select either one or both in this single runner. So let's suppose I am selecting this YouTube sign in for this runner one and if I want I can again assign the second business flow also to this runner one or you can see 
this both uh, business flow is assigned to the vendor one similarly if i do not want that or i want this youtube signing to be done by runner one and this login google is to be by runner two so we can do that as well so if i want to delete this business flow from here i can simply click on this delete icon and i will click yes now you can see this runner one have only one business flow that is youtube signing here also you can see business flow one activities one so under this youtube sign in business flow we have one activity and under that one activity we have one action so this is what it is representing activity one and the action now come to runner two when i click on runner two we can see everything is showing us zero now if i do this a plus icon i can select login google and then select ok now you can see that second flow is assigned to the runner 2. Now we have two type of execution of the runners. One is sequential and one is parallel. So what is sequential? So right now if I see on runner 1 we have this play icon. Now this is stop icon. So if I click on this play icon this first runner will be executed and then I can come to my second runner and then I can again play this runner 2 this type of execution will be called as sequential runner otherwise by doing this runner 1 configuration and runner 2 configuration if i click this run then this both runner will be run parallelly so that will be our parallel execution now if i come to operations HTML report I have already told execution report will be generated after the execution end and for HTML report email we can see here we have a little configuration so from I am in from I am putting my email address amritas at the rate mdocs.com and I will send it to myself only so aman.prasad at the rate mdocs.com now uh, in subject line we can put as report of run set and a different option as well now if i come to attachment you can attach any more things which you want and if i come to delivery method it is email method smtp so this should be smtp only and have a SMTP mail host. So SMTP mail host for mdocs is umg.mdocs.com. For other organization, it could be different. Now we have configured our email and we have configured our runner one. So first I will show you the execution of runner one. So then I click on this plus icon, then I click yes. And you can see the our agent has opened the browser. Now if I type here youtube.com you can see the runner one is supposed to click on this sign in icon. So it is automatically clicked on second sign in icon and our execution for the runner one is completed. Now I come to runner two which is responsible for doing a Google login. You can see here we have signed it a Google login business flow. Now I execute this and again I am doing a youtube.com. I am doing this because we are doing it sequentially. So now I click on sign in. Now on this page it has automatically filled my details. I'm in this at gmail.com. Now why we required it because we are doing this runner as sequential that is why we are doing individual step in both the run this type of running is called sequential running we can do it is in a parallel way or in a single manner as well so you can see uh, for this uh, this both runner are executed successfully and for them we have a report also generated for them so if i click on this 
generate report so now my execution is on runner 2 and if i click on this report will be generated now i click on this view report so it will show me the details of how the execution was done and that was a google login and all other details the execution time and everything now if i go back to runner 1 and then i click on this analyzer report again a report came up and i can see the execution report of the second one now one more thing i want to highlight that during the operations we have sent this send html report so this this report will also be emailed to the receiver which will take some time now if i want to be execute this bot runner in a single way so i can delete this one from here or there and i delete this also now we have a default runner in this default runner i will add my both business flow so that it can be run at a single time so i select this then i select my second google second business flow now for this runner i have assigned both my business flow now i click on run so it has opened our browser i am typing youtube.com now you will see it will automatically click sign in button and then it will automatically enter the details of the google login now this runner is completed and we can see a report so report is also executed and we can see all the details now coming back we have this three dot icons in which we can see analyzer and set export execution result to ALM so in analyzer and set we can see it is totally zero because we have not set anything to analyze and the second option is export execution result to ALM so you can see our other videos in which we have told about the ALM integration by doing that you can send the exporter result to the ALM as well now uh, we are done with this uh, run set configuration if you have any doubt you can reach out to our helpline ginger.mdocs.com or you can visit our help folder you can reach out to us on our public website ginger help library or you can write us at ginger at the rate mdocs.com for any queries